Wonderful. I'm going to look in my bird watching book to see what kind of bird that might be. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. There's another one. That one looks very familiar. It's definitely not an American red starch. Perhaps a cerulean warbler. Blue headed Vimeo. No, let me look again. It's Walter Kalamansky. <laughs> Good morning, sing along, Tim. Good morning, Lori Nancy Kalamansky. How are you today? I'm fabulous. Good, good morning out there. How's everybody doing this morning? Let's have a good look at you. Oh, yes. Oh, I like what you did with your hair. <laughs> oh, good morning. Ah. I think it's time to wake up, sing along, Tim. Yeah, let's do a wake up song to get started. When the alarm goes off, it's time to get up. When the alarm goes off, it's time to get up. When the alarm goes off, it's time to get up. Get up and start the day. Sing along, sing along. So I was thinking about what I do when I wake up in the morning, and the first thing I do is I have a big yawn like this. Can you do that? Yeah, that's right. And then I have a big stretch like this. Can you do that? Let's see you all have a big stretch. Very good. And then I scratch my head like this. Can you do that? Great. Well, I yawn and I stretch. And I scratch and scratch and scratch of my head. Well, I yawn and I stretch. And I scratch and scratch and scratch of my head. Well, I yawn and stretch and scratch my head. And it's time to start the day. Sing along. Sing along. So I was thinking about what else I do when I wake up in the morning. And uh, I wash my face like this. Can you do that? Very good. And then I brush my teeth like this. Very good. Well, I wash my face and I brush my teeth. I wash my face and I brush my teeth. I wash my face and I brush my teeth. And I usually go for a pee. Meal, bacon sandwich. Tim. <laughs> ah, I'm feeling a lot more awake now. How about you, Lori Nancy? Yes. Waking up. Oh, Very well. Well, oh, it's wait. Wednesday, and that means that it is our Something Different, Something New show. 
<laughs> That's right. And in a little bit, we're going to see if we can spot the difference behind Sing Along Tim and Lori Nancy. But first, Sing Along Tim, let's say hi to the folks out there. Great. Welcome. Hello, Talia. So good to see you. Hello, Izzy. Hello, Aiden and Zach. Hello, Robin. Good morning from Jacob and Daniel. It's also Daniel's sixth birthday today, Sing Along Tim. Happy birthday, Daniel. Happy birthday. I'm so glad we could be with you on your birthday. Welcome back, Liam. It's nice to see you. Hi, Archer. And uh, hi, Felix and Flora. Welcome back. Mattia from Birmingham, you're back again, all the way from England. Nice to see you. Uh, hi, Cabron and Tanner, who are eating Cheerios and watching. And uh, hi, Avery from Upper Young. And Christopher, also from Upper Young. And all the way from Newfoundland, we've got Christopher, Christopher, Carol, and Lily. Gosh, it's a morning of super fans, sing along, Tim. That's great. That's you know great. what? That feels really special to me because today is actually our 20th show, sing along, Tim. Did you know that? No, I didn't know it was our 20th show. Yeah, so it's pretty nice to have all of you joining us. I'm seeing Matthew and Ty, Des and Gwen just joined us too. Welcome everybody. All right. So, as Laurie Nancy mentioned, on Wednesdays we do something different and something new, and part of that is we ask you to spot the difference. We've made a change in the background, so see if you can spot the difference. If you can spot the difference, type it into the comments or get somebody to help you type it in. We'll see, uh, we'll answer that question a little later on. Okay, that was really fun to get everybody moving with that wake up song. I wanna continue with everybody moving. So if you're sitting down out there, it's time to stand up because we are going to start marching. Yeah, we're gonna do a song called Six Little Ducks. That's one, two, three, four, five, Six ducks. Okay. Oh, why, well, hello. Who's this? My name is Gaspar Lucanar. I am a duck. <laughs> it's uh, really lovely to meet you. Maybe you could help us out with this song. Is it Gaspar? Oui. Oh, très bien. Okay. There are six ducks in this song. Six. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six. Did I get that right? <laughs> okay, we're gonna find the beat on our feet. Find the beat on our feet. Six little ducks that I once knew. Fat ducks, pretty ducks, they were two. But the one little duck with the feather on his back, he led the others with his quack, 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 quack. He led the others with his quack, quack, quack. Down to the meadow they would go. A wiggle woggle, wiggle woggle to and fro. But the one little duck with the feather on his back. He led the others with his quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. He led the others with his quack, quack, quack. That was really good, everybody. You ready to try that again with me? Very good, Gaspar. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to remind everybody of the actions. We've got one little duck. We've got a feather on its back. And whenever there's a quacking, like the bill of a duck, we want to take our hands like this and go quack, quack, quack. Oh, excellent, excellent. And then later on in the second verse, we've got a wiggle waggle, wiggle waggle. Can you do that? Let's see you at home try it. Wiggle waggle, wiggle waggle. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me laugh. That's really good. And then, of course, we're going to march on the spot. We're going to find the beat on our feet. Six little ducks that I once knew. Fat ducks, pretty ducks, they were two. But the one little duck with the feather on its back, he led the others with his quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. He led the others with his quack, quack, quack. Down to the meadow they would go, a wiggle waggle, wiggle waggle to and fro. But the one little duck with the feather on its back, he led the others with his quack, 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 quack. 
He let the others with his quack, quack, quack. Very, very good. So nice to meet you, Gaspard. <laughs> Great job, everybody out there. Whew. Got everything moving now. You know, it seems to be a real kind of a, a bird theme today. What with Gaspar and the canard, the six little ducks, and I was um, I was bird watching at the beginning of the show, and a lot of people have been going out to see what birds they can see. And I, I, I have as well, and I've got a little song about it. So I'd like to do for you now. If that's all right. Wednesdays I go out on my bike down to Leslie Spit. It's not too near, it's not too far. I always take my binoculars to see all the birds flying over it. Most are flying north, some go west, others build a nest and stay. So come on, tell me, sing along, Tim. What did you see today? What did you see today? What did you see, Sing Along Tim? Well, Lori Nancy, when I went down there today, I saw lots of red winged blackbirds. And they have a lot to say. And they are very beautiful because they're entirely black, except for these two patches on their wings that are red. I got a picture for, of them here. Uh, in my Ontario Book of Birds, so you can see it. There they are. Like that, but they're much more beautiful than that in real life. And um, that's why I always put my binoculars so I can see them a little more closely. We're gonna show you how to make some binoculars later so you can go bird watching at home yourselves. And it's always fun to see what might be uh, out, outside, out in, out in your backyard or in the neighborhood, because there's lots of birds around. Oh, oh hello, sing along, Timothy. Oh, hello. Hey. I don't know if you remember uh, Penelope Pineapple here. Yes, hello. Hi. Great to see you again. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, I was just passing by and um, I wanted, I overheard you talking about the uh, red winged blackbird. And I fancy myself a bit of an amateur ornithologist myself. And I just, I couldn't, you know, walk by without saying hello and letting you know that I just went by Woodbine Park and I think I might have spotted one. Uh-huh. Such a beautiful creature. Oh, they're hard to mistake. Um, I have a photo here actually to show you. I know sing-along Timothy was saying that they have black feathers and red and yellow shoulder badges right there. Oh yes, and the females are light in color. Oh, and those red winged blackbirds will do anything they can do to get noticed. Sitting on their perches and belting out their conkalari, conkalari. Can you do that out there? Can you make that bird call? Conkalari, conkalari. Oh, it's very good, but it was very quiet. Can you do it again a little bit louder? Conkalari! Marvelous, magnificent, my goodness. Golly gumdrops. Was that a Cooper's hawk that just flew by? There's a nest in Monarch Park, sing along Timothy, that I've been watching. Do you think the eggs could have hatched? I better be going. I wouldn't want to miss this. Toodles, everyone, and toodles, sing along Timothy. Bye, Penelope Pineapple. Thank you for coming. Always a pleasure to, uh, be able to pick your brain. You seem to know so much about just about everything, doesn't she? It's always good to know people who know lots of things because then we can learn things as well. Which brings us to today's quiz question. And that is, what is the official sort of scientific name for someone who watches birds? What is the official sort of scientific name for someone who watches birds? As always, put your answers on a postcard or in the comments section. Well, Thanks, you know what, Lori Nancy, you just missed Penelope Pineapple. She was just here. You're kidding. Oh, my goodness. 
Well, maybe I can catch up with her later. Yeah, yeah. Maybe care. Can you think so long, Tim? Is it time to maybe show off how to make our craft today? Well, I, I, I would love to do that. Are we going to answer the spot the difference first? Has anybody written in about that? Let's see. Let's have a look back. Hmm. Oh, Talia says that Lori Nancy has birds and Sing Along Tim has a stuffy? Question mark. Mm -hmm. We've got a couple other guesses out there for birdies. And uh, yeah, great. Okay. Well. Can I, t t can I tell you about my some of my birds? We want Please. to. Okay. So, yeah, this is a this is a kingfisher stuffy right here. And I got two owls up there. And these are these I got some birds on my piano as well, which are, are, are very special to me and, and quite rare. This one. Can you see this? It's called fork bird because it's made from a fork. It's got forks for feet. So we call that one the fork bird. And this one is called, we call it the worried bird because uh, it has kind of worried look on its face. So we often ask it questions, but uh, uh, it can only really answer yes or no questions. Hey, worry bird, are you worried today? What are you worried about? See, it can't answer that. Um, Anyway, perhaps we should move on. Okay, <laughs> time for the craft. <laughs> you can make sound effects out of pretty much everything. So if you were with us at the top of the show, Sing Along Tim and I were looking at some birds out of our binoculars. Oh. <laughs> and I also like to go cloud watching with binoculars and looking at all the different forms out there. So that's why I decorated my binoculars to look like the sky. Let's see your binoculars sing along, Tim. Uh, my binoculars are uh, kind of like a, mm, more sporty, but what I like about them is they got um, ribbons. Oh. I, got, I got ribbons on mine. Mine's oh, I love it. my neck with a ribbon. That's great. But you Thanks. know what, Nancy, I'm gonna hand it over to you, but let's just look at what these things are made of, basically. Great idea. So, what you're going to need, boys and girls, is some toilet paper rolls. Ta da Maybe you have one or two hanging around your house. If you don't have toilet paper rolls, you can use a paper towel roll and just cut it to the size that you want. Or even, if you don't even have that, a piece of paper that you just fold up in a circle. You can tape the edge, and you've got the right shape that we need. Okay, so you take your toilet paper rolls and you can decorate these however you feel like. So for me, I just got some paint, used a toothbrush and a little container, mixed it all up, painted, let it dry, then I used some glue. And what do you think these white fluffy clouds are made out of? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Cotton balls, that's right. So for me, I just stuck it on my binoculars and then I held my two binoculars together with an elastic band. Yeah, so you can choose if you want to just put the elastic around them in the middle there. Wow, 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 wow. Or you can um, put some glue down the middle and let that dry. It's completely up to you. After that, because I want to be able to put these around my neck, you just cut two little holes in the side. You can use a hole punch if you've got something fancy like that, or some scissors. You just put it into the edge about a centimeter down, give it a punch, instant hole. Then you can take some string, or I didn't have any string, I used some yarn, and it looks like Sing Along Tim used a fun ribbon that he maybe got on a present. And uh, you just tie a little knot around the top. You can put it around your neck and attach it to the second one. And before you know it, lickety split, you have your own bird watching, cloud watching, people watching binoculars. Yeah, great. If you decide to make a pair, please take a photo and send it to us. So that's today's craft, homemade binoculars. <laughs> oh, 
Hello, sing along, Tim. Thank you, Lori and Nancy Kalamaski, for that great craft. You're welcome. <clears throat> it's time for another song. And we're going to do a song called Down by the Bay. Do you know that song, Down by the Bay? Because what we need you to do is we're going to give you a chance. We would love it if you could send in your own rhymes to go in this song. Uh, so, because uh, we'll, well, I'll start playing it and then you'll probably listen to it if you don't know this song already. Uh, I think it's a song mostly made famous by that great Canadian children's musician, Rafi. Um, so, I was watching him last night. So great. Down by the bay where the watermelons go, grow back to my home. I will not go. Does it right to my mother will say Did you ever see an eagle chatting with a beagle? Down by the bay, down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I will not go. Cause if I do, my mother will say Did you ever see a hawk? Drawing with chalk down by the bay, down by the okay, 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 okay. So that's basically how it goes. So, friends out there, if you can send in your own rhymes, we'll put it into the song. Or if you have uh, your own animal that uh, you'd like us to make a rhyme with ourselves, we'll see what we can do. How about you, Lauren? We have had a suggestion, sing along, Tim, from Christopher. Thank you for your suggestion. Have you ever seen a fox dancing on the rocks? Oh, yeah. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I will not go. Cause if I do, my mother will say. Did you ever see a fox dancing on the rocks? Down by the bay. We have any other requests? From our good friend Krista, we have Did you ever see a bear sitting on a chair? Good Down one. By the bay where the watermelons grow. Back to my home. I will not go. Cause if I do, my mother will say, Did you ever see a bear? Sitting on a chair, down by the bay. Any more, Lori Nancy? <laughs> yes. You went into cyberspace for us there, and we're moving really fast. It was very funny. Uh, next up, we've got, did you ever see a shape talking to an ape? Ooh, that's from John and Talia. Thank you. Back to my home. I will not go, cause if I do, my mother will say. Did you ever see a shape talking to an ape down by the bay? Good ape impression there, Lori Nancy. I think we have time for one more. Is there any more? We've got one more from Izzy. Did you ever see a moose in a caboose? Oh, yeah, down by the bay. Back to my home, I will not go, cause if I do, my mother would say. Did you ever see a moose riding the caboose down by the bay, down by the bay, down by the bay, down by the bay, down by the bay? Down by the bay. <laughs> That's really fun. Sing along, Tim. Thank you, everybody, for all your suggestions. Yeah, I was looking up that song, Sing Along, Tim, because on Wednesdays, the reason we call the show Something Different, Something New is we try to put a new song in. And uh, Down by the Bay, even though Rafi made it famous, it's actually a really old song that goes back all the way to war times. Wow. Did you learn that from Penelope Pineapple? Oh, she's always telling me stuff. Sometimes things stick, sometimes I lose them, but yes. <laughs> hey, everybody, I wanted to let you know that you did spot the difference at my house as well with all the birds. 
<laughs> so good job out there, everybody who saw that. I think it might be time to answer the quiz. Is that right, Sing Along Tim? It is time to answer the quiz. <laughs> I forgot to make the quiz noise when we did the quiz question, so I'll do it twice now. <laughs> the answer to the quiz question, what do you call uh, someone, what is the scientific word for someone who looks at birds, who watches, is a bird watcher? Glory Nancy, did anybody answer that question? They certainly did. Our good pal John said ornithologist. <laughs> is the correct answer. Woohoo! Well done. Good job. Nice. Okay, well, we are so glad that you all joined us for our 20th show. It's a really beautiful day here in Toronto. The sun is out shining. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, uh, and if you want to hear any more Sing Along Tim stuff in the pacifiers, the full band versions, uh, you can you can download it from our website or listen to it on um, Spotify or any of those kind of platforms. And just to let you know that all of our previous episodes of the Sing Along Tim homemade house concerts are now up on YouTube. Uh, so if you look at Sing Along Tim on YouTube, you'll find them all there in their own special playlist. Uh, it's now time for the hand washing song. Yes, favorite. Okay, we've got lots of super fans out there today, and I know you know these actions, so let's all do it together. Ready? So you better turn on the taps. The World Health Organization. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's me. okay, Sing Along Tim. Oh, Turning on the taps. <laughs> the World Health Organization says you gotta wash your hands with soap and water. Front and back and top and bottom. Make sure that you wash them often. In between your fingers, around both of your thumbs, your knuckles and your wrists. Don't forget your palm. Wash for 30 seconds. And you're done. Like this song. Here we go again. The World Health Organization says you gotta. Oh, let's get it, Lord Nancy. Wash your hands with soap and water. <laughs> Front and back, top and bottom. Make sure you wash them often. In between your fingers, around both of your thumbs, your knuckles and your wrists. Go to bottoms. Wash the thirst. And you're done. One last time. The World Health Organization says you gotta wash your hands with soap and water. Front and back and top and bottom. Make sure that you wash them often. In between your fingers, round both of your thumbs, your knuckles and your wrists. Don't forget your palms. Wash for 30 seconds. And you're done. Like this song. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye. Friday. Bye, Lori Nancy Kalamansky. Bye, Sing Along Tim, special guest on Friday. We'll see you then, everyone.